this is Selena. Welcome back to one of my videos. I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Selena and I release a crochet tutorial every week. And this week I'm bringing to you um, this really lovely cardigan. I love it. So as you can see, it features a really um, delicate stitch and four pearly buttons, as you can see and these lovely sleeves in this crochet um, pattern comes in many sizes the free pattern is available on my blog as always selinaveronique.com the link is in the down bar and like I said this pattern comes in sizes S to triple XL so just check out the pattern to see which size you want to make and in this tutorial I'll be showing you size S however um, you can easily make any size just refer back to the free pattern on my blog so for this project I used um, this yarn which is Emu Treasure DK and this comes in 50 gram balls and I used seven and this yarn is considered a light three um, DK weight yarn and it's a hundred percent acrylic and it's really really soft you can also use um, Bernat Softy Baby it's very very similar I'll be linking um, the yarn in the down bar but yes this is a really nice yarn to use I used a four millimeter crochet hook a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, and you will also be needing a darning thread, a darning needle, and four 15 millimeter um, buttons. However, I will be linking all of this in the down bar. You will also be needing a stitch marker, and that's it. I will be using US terms with British terms in brackets. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, that really helps out my channel. And if you want more feminine um, crochet content, don't forget to check out my Patreon page. The link is in the down bar. So to begin this tutorial, I will be showing you um, the stitch uh, that we will be working on. And we will start this project by making the back panel. And then we will be making the two front panels. As you can see, they are identical. And then we will be making two sleeves. And I'll be going through this step by step. And um, I will be demonstrating size S, like I said previously. And the principle is the exact same for every size. So if you're making a different size, you can just refer to my um, free pattern that is linked in the description box. So just go on to my blog for the free pattern and each and every different size. If you are making a different size than size S, like myself, and yeah, I'll just, and also, we will be working rows of half double crochets and it will be the same stitch throughout the whole project. So for the back panel we will be chaining 73. So just go ahead and chain 73. One, two, three. So I've gone ahead and chained a smaller chain because I'm just going to be demonstrating the stitch but the principle is the exact same. So you should have a chain of 73 stitches or more depending on the size that you are um, making. And now that you've um, chained 73 you are going to be counting one, two and three chains from the hook and place a half double crochet inside that chain. So wrap your yarn around your hook, go into this chain, pull up a loop, you have three chains on your hook, take your yarn and pull through three loops and that creates a half double crochet and the first chain two at the beginning counts as a half double crochet two. 
and now just go ahead and place a half double crochet into the next stitch and into the next stitch and into the next stitch and just place a half double crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this row. Okay, so I finished row one and now we are going to be making row two. So for row two, you are going to be chaining two, one and two. And this counts as your first half double crochet. Turn your work and now we are going to be working directly into each and every stitch across. So this first chain two, like I said, counts as a half double crochet and goes with this first stitch here. And we are going to be going into the second stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet and just place a half double crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this row and I'm just going to show you what to do um, once you reach the end of this row which I've almost finished as you can see. So as you can see I've almost finished this row and I still have two stitches left because um, this is our last half double crochet here that we are placing a half double crochet into but we will be placing a half double crochet into the chain two from the previous row also as this counts as a stitch and this will straighten out as we go along so now we are going to be chaining two, one and two for row three and row three is simply going to be a repeat of row two. So I'm just going to briefly go through this because I've already showed you row two. So this first chain two counts as your first half double crochet and now just go into the second and every half double crochet of this row including the chain two from the previous row at the end of this row and just repeat this over and over so as you can see this is a very very simple stitch um, to make but it's a very pretty stitch also so just carry this on and for size S you will have um, 56 rows in total so it like I said it's the same stitch throughout each and every section of this project so like I said don't forget to check the free pattern on my blog it might help you to have the written instructions also but let me go through this briefly and like I say um, the number of chains at the beginning and the number of rows uh, might vary um, depending on which size you crochet so this is just for size S but the principle is the exact same for each and every size so for size S you will um, be um, making 56 rows in total for the back panel then you will be making two front panels and for each front panel you will be chaining 37 and you will also have 56 rows in total so obviously make two front panels and then for each sleeve so I've made two sleeves as you can see and for each sleeve you will be chaining 73 and um, you will have 64 rows in total so just go ahead and crochet these different parts and then I'll get back to you to show you the rest of the pattern okay so I'm back and as you can see I finished my back panel and my front panels and I'm going to show you now how to sew these in so we are simply going to be sewing across the top here 
So for the front, the first panel here, I hid my loose ends um, just so I could take pictures for my blog. But for the front panel, the first one we are going to simply um, be fastening it onto this back panel like so. I mean, I have two loose ends, so I just find it more simple to just attach it like this. And now we are going to be taking our loose end and placing a our um, needle in. And so now we are simply going to be sewing this at the top. And to sew this, I'm just gonna zoom in. So we are going to be um, going straight across. So make sure that both your panels are symmetrically placed onto the project. Um, I'm just gonna de-zoom, sorry about that for a second, and just show you again. So there mustn't be any gaps here. So just, um, so straight across if that makes sense and just if you need to you can use sewing pins I know I don't usually use sewing pins because I don't need to but um, if you do need to secure your project to make sure that you are sewing it symmetrically please by all means use sewing pins to secure it so as you can see, I'm using the mattress stitch to sew this project together. So just go ahead and use the mattress stitch to sew this project together. And um, once you reach the center, and you still have, so when I mean center, I mean the end here. Just carry on sewing the next panel until you reach the other side. Or if you need to, just fasten off if your loose end is too small. And just um, attach another piece of yarn and carry on sewing it across. And I'll show you how to fasten off this part in one second. Okay, so I've sewed, um, so let me show you what I sewed. Um, so I've sewed the front and back panels together. So um, this is what it looks like, obviously. Um, there we go. And now we are going to be sewing the sleeves onto the project. But before we sew the sleeves onto the project, we are going to be seaming the sleeve. So this is one sleeve. So this is one sleeve and what we are going to be doing is folding this over like so. So um, on the row side, so as you can see the rows are going across like this and you're simply going to be folding this over. And I left a long tail for sewing the project in and we are going to be doing exactly what I um, did prior which is sew in the sleeve, uh, the seam so just go ahead and sew in the seam like this so like I just showed you very simple and repeat the same thing on the other um, sleeve and just use the mattress stitch once again and just sew this sleeve um, in, as I say. So do this on both sleeves all the way across and fasten off and then I'll show you how to attach the sleeves to the project. Okay, so I finished sewing in my two sleeves, as you can see, and what we are going to be doing now, so what I am going to be showing you now, is how to sew your sleeve into your project. So I've already started doing my first sleeve, as you can see. So you are going to be placing your first sleeve like this. Um, next uh, symmetrically to the first side and so I attached a piece of yarn here and I attached 
um, and I sewed in my sleeve into the front of the cardigan so basically I sewed in the front of the sleeve to the front of the cardigan and then I'm just carrying on sewing down um, down the side of the cardigan meaning that the back of the sleeve and the back of the cardigan are not sewed together yet um, this is how I sew my sleeves in um, this is my technique so as you can see I'm just using the mattress stitch the reason I do this is because I feel like it gives a more seamless look um, to just carry on sewing um, the sides in so I'm sewing the side pan uh, the front panel to the back panel using the mattress stitch very simply as you can see and I'm just going to go all the way down the side and then I'm going to fasten in I'm going to tie a knot to finish in to finish this seam sorry and then I'm just gonna um, I'm just going to be sewing in my loose end and then once we've um, finished this side I'll show you how to sew in the back of the sleeve okay so I finished sewing in um, here I've tidied up my loose end already and now I am going to flip this over like this and I'm going to be um, sewing in the back of the sleeve. So just go ahead. So I'm just going to attach a piece of yarn to this project, um, to the back, like so. And I am going to be, um, make sure that you sew this part in. So this is kind of um, the bottom of the sleeve kind of um, just to sew it in properly into the project so I'm just gonna go and do this secure it a bit more there we go and I'm simply going to be sewing um, the back panel to the back of the sleeve like so so just go ahead and sew the back panel to the back of the sleeve and then once you reach um, the top, just fasten off and then I'll show you what to do after that. Okay, so I finished sewing in the back of the sleeve and as you can see, um, this cardigan is starting to look a lot like a cardigan. So now you are going to be repeating this um, sewing in the um, other sleeve into the project and just one last thing about the sleeves just make sure that the seam of the sleeve is facing down so just make sure that the um, you know where you sewed it in just make sure that that is facing down and sew this side in and then I'll show you how to do the bottom edging and the sleeve cuffs and the front of the cardigan. Hi everyone, so now I've finished um, stitching my cardigan together as you can see. It's now the evening but I decided to carry on showing you my pattern so I've um, put on some lights so I hope you can see clearly. And so now I'm going to show you how to crochet um, the sleeves. So we are going to still be using the four millimeter crochet hook and we are going to be attaching our yarn to either one of the sleeves on either um, on any stitch sorry I am going to attach it on the a stitch at the bottom here of this sleeve just because then it will look more um, more seamless but that's just my own decision and so now we are going to be working on each sleeve Okay, so now that you've attached your yarn to the sleeve, um, just pop your hook through and chain one. And this does um, not count as a stitch. And this 
um, where we are going to be placing our stitches is what I call the wrong side of the stitches, meaning there's no specific stitch into which you will be working, if that makes sense. So we are going to be placing single crochets all around this, um, this sleeve cuff. But we are going to want to tighten this row, so you have to imagine um, skipping one stitch, so placing one single crochet and then skipping a stitch. So we've chained one, we are going to be placing a single crochet and now skip um, a space or a stitch, I hope I'm making sense and go into the next with a single crochet and to make a single crochet pop your hook directly through the stitch you have two loops on your hook take your yarn and pull through two loops and that creates a single crochet now skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet now skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet, skip a stitch and go into the next with a single crochet, skip a stitch and go into the next and just carry on doing this until you reach the end of this round and obviously this will tighten your project considerably. So yes, just carry on doing this and then I'll get back to you. So now that we've finished round one of the sleeves, we are going to be doing round two. And for round two, I want to tighten this part a teeny bit more. So to do so, I am simply going to be chaining one and this count does not count as a stitch. Place a single crochet inside that first stitch here. And now that we've placed a single crochet, place a single, uh, place a stitch marker inside this stitch. And what we are going to be doing is skipping the next stitch and going into the next single crochet with a single crochet. And now go into the next stitch with a single crochet again. Skip the next stitch and go into the next with a single crochet and into the next with a single crochet again skip a stitch and then go into the next with a single crochet and just carry on this pattern of alternating um, two single crochets skip one stitch two single crochets until you reach the end of this round Okay, so here we go. We finished, um, sorry, so we finished this round and we are going to take out the stitch marker and slip stitch through that first single crochet that we did like so. And now you can see that our sleeve is um, nicely tightened like we want it to be. And now for the next round it's going to be very simple you are going to be chaining two one and two and this counts as your first half double crochet and you are going to be going into the next stitch with a half double crochet and the next stitch with a half double crochet and the next stitch with a half double crochet and just carry this on until you reach um, the beginning of this round. So just carry this on and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I've reached the end of this round and I'm simply going to be slip stitching through the chain two from the beginning of this round and what we are going to be doing now is adding five more rounds of half double crochets in um, on this sleeve so one two this counts as a half double crochet and now go into the next half double crochet with a half double crochet and just place 
a half double crochet into each and every stitch across until you finish this round and then slip stitch to the first chain two like I just showed you and repeat this um, like I said for another five rounds including this one so that would be six rounds in total of half double crochets and then just fasten off and repeat this on the other sleeve and then I'll show you how to crochet the bottom edging and the front edging. Okay, so as you can see, I finished um, both sleeve cuffs and I love um, the way they look. And now I'm going to show you the, um, the bottom edging. Well, it's not really an edging, it's just the bottom of the cardigan and so to do the bottom edging we are simply going to be taking our yarn <coughs> and attaching it to the bottom corner of the cardigan like this like so so just attach it and we are simply going to be creating a um, a round of half double crochets so I'm just going to switch this round well it's not a round but a row but you know what I mean and so I'm just turning this around popping my hook through and I'm going to chain one so let me just switch this round again let me zoom in okay here we go and so we are going to be um so we've chained one and we are going to be placing a single crochet into each and every stitch across sorry about these loose ends let me just remove them so just go ahead and place a single crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this row. Okay, so I finished my row of single crochets and now I'm going to turn my work and we are going to be placing row after row of half double crochets so to begin the first row of half double crochets chain two and this counts as your first half double crochet with the first stitch so we're going to go directly into the second stitch with a half double crochet and into the next stitch with a half double crochet and the next stitch and just place a half double crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end of this row and then once you reach the end of this row you are simply going to be um, repeating this row over and over and I'll write down on the screen I'll write on the screen now how many times you need to repeat um, this row because I've not yet completed my project. So once I've finished um, completing my rows, I'll, I'll, um, I'll write it down on the screen now and just repeat so this row that I'm showing you now over and over until you have the number of rows I'll write down on the screen now in total and then I'll get back to you. Okay so I'm back and I finished um, my eight rows in total of half double crochets so yes I'm really pleased and now that we've finished um, these eight rows I'm going to take out my um, stitch marker and I'm going to start um, crocheting the front edging. So the front edging is, so I've not fastened off, my um, yarn is still fastened on to this bottom corner 
And so for the front opening edging, I, we are going to be crocheting all the way up here and then down again, right down to the bottom. And so to do this, you are going to be um, taking your yarn and chaining one. So chain one, and we are not tightening the project in any way, shape or form in this um, part. And we are simply going to be adding one single crochet all the way along. So this is going to be a simple single crochet row and you need to place enough of these. So just go ahead and place a single crochet because this is once again the wrong side of the stitches. Um, it's the row side so just make sure you place a single crochet evenly all across this um, the edge and like I say you don't want to tighten the project so make sure you place enough single crochets there's not a specific amount of single crochets that you need to place however just make sure that you are placing them evenly across this um, the front edging and I'll meet you back um, to show you the rest of the project. So just carry this on up until, so until you reach, like I say, the top and then go back down again and I'll meet you back down here for row two. Okay, so as you can see, um, obviously my, there you go. So I finished my row of single crochets all across the front opening. And now what we are going to be doing is um, placing a row of double crochets. So in exactly the same way, we are going to be starting here and going all the way up and then down again to the bottom. And so for this part, we are simply going to be um, placing double crochets. So let's just... Um, I'm going to show you how to do this. So to begin, you are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. And this counts as your first double crochet and goes with this first stitch here. Then you are going to be placing a double crochet into the next stitch. Um, and so to create your double crochet, wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that stitch, pull up a loop, you have three loops on your hook, take your yarn and go through two loops and take your yarn and go through two loops and that creates a double crochet. And now go into the next stitch with a double crochet and the next stitch with a double crochet and just place a double crochet into each and every stitch across until you reach the end, well, until, yes, you reach the other side. Um, yeah, so just carry on placing double crochets and then I'll show you what to do then. Okay, so I finished this row of double crochets and I fastened off. And so now I've tidied up all my loose ends. I'm really pleased with how this cardigan looks. I've also turned it inside out just because um, we are going to be sewing the buttons onto the front of the cardigan and I wanted the nicest um, the nicest side of the cardigan showing if that makes sense and I thought the other side looked nicer and neater so I just turned it inside out but obviously that's completely optional just choose which side of the cardigan um, you think looks the nicest and then um, use that to sew your buttons on so as you can see I've already placed my buttons I chose these pearly um, pink buttons and oops this is the back I hope you can see. I will be linking these or similar in the description box. And this, um, I got four and I think they're 10 to 15 millimeter buttons. I'll check, but I think they might be 15 millimeter buttons. And I had four and that was um, the brand that I used and I will be linking some similar ones. 
and I have placed them like this. I've not sewed them onto the project yet, but I've popped my first one at the bottom here, as you can see, and then there's about two and a half inches separating each button. So just go ahead um, and do that, sew them onto the project. So to do this, I'm going to use my um, tapestry, uh, my darning needle. So this is a very basic darning needle. I'm using basic darning thread in pink. And I'm going to start sewing this into the cardigan. Um, you can use whichever buttons you prefer. I also almost used these buttons, which are floral buttons, which look really pretty. Um, also, so that's an option too, but I decided to go with the pearly pink ones and so I'm just going to sew this in, sew these buttons in very simply, as you can see, just using the darning thread and needle. And I'm going to be sewing the four onto my project. So as you can see, this is very basic and very straightforward sewing. So I'm just going to let you carry this on and um, I'll get back to you um, after you've sewed your buttons in.